Maya, an extraordinary baby bee, hatches out of the wax nest before time. She greets the nurses who are making wax nests for baby bees. The younger nurse named Cassandra walks over to her and tries to put her back, stating that she should wait until the hatching time. Maya argues that she wants to share her dream about the big yellow ball and blue vast thing. The older nurse is awestruck to hear that, she divulges that bees don't dream, then urges her to rest. Maya inquires why she can't do what she wants. Cassandra asks her to be patient, as there is a lot to learn about bee life. Maya asks Cassandra about the bee. The older nurse contends that a bee is a little good girl who obeys what is told to her. Then she holds Maya in her arms and starts singing a lullaby and rocking her. Maya starts singing with her and then pats her face. The older nurse falls asleep, and Maya giggles to see her snoring. Cassandra takes her to the nest and gives wax to the older nurse. The older nurse starts filling the breeches in the little bee's nest while ridiculing her idea that a bee does what she wants. After filling the nest wall, she walks over to Cassandra with satisfaction that the little bee is inside the nest. Cassandra foretells that she is a sweet baby bee, while the older nurse unfolds her baby bee number 396 with a scowl on her face. When Cassandra grabs the record to check her name, Maya sneaks out of the nursery. Cassandra declares her name to be Maya. Meanwhile, after stepping out of the nursery, Maya falls on the back of a bee, who, along with other bees, is making honey with pollen. While the bee is flying around the honeycomb, she tastes some honey and then inquires about it. After noticing Maya on his back, he abruptly halts, which results in her falling. But she lands on another bee's back, and she covers that bee's eyes. The bee screams while hovering around that he can't see anything, but Maya giggles to see him bumping into other bees. She chuckles and says that she is having fun. Suddenly the bee is struck with the ground, and Maya rolls on hitting the pollen bowls, then stops near the royal advisor Buzzlina's feet, who is briefing the queen bee that everything is going well in the hive. Maya exclaims that she has a lot of fun in the air, then walks over to the queen and asks her if the thing she is wearing on her head is heavy or not. Buzzlina furiously reasons that bees don't have fun, then orders her to clean the pollen as it is not a stinky hornet's hive. The queen intervenes and commands Buzzlina to take her sting back, as she is only a baby bee. Buzzlina glares at Maya, then insists that if she lets these things happen, the hive will fall into chaos. The queen agrees with her that every bee has a role to play. Maya is perplexed and asks the queen about her role. The queen professes that she will discover her place after learning how to live in a hive. Upon Buzzlina's insistence on giving punishment to Maya, the queen commands Buzzlina to safely escort Maya to the nurses. Buzzlina assures her while paying salutation. When the queen moves ahead to her chamber, Buzzlina divulges before Crawley that the queen is not fit for the rule while looking daggers at her back. When she turns to Maya, she finds her nowhere. Meanwhile, Maya, wondering about her role, joins the marching bees. The last bee in the queue halts her and asks what kind of bee she is. Maya calls him silly and declares that she is a marching bee like him. The bee scoffs that bees don't behave like that. Then he flies away, commanding her to stay back. After seeing his fluttering wings, Maya looks at her back and then starts fluttering, but without training, she is only hopping rather than flying high. She reaches the exit of the hive, where she sees a bee going out after saying, attention. She walks over to the exit and goes out, saying, attention. After going out, she is bewildered to see the sunlight, then she flies ahead, giggling, seeing flowers around. She hears someone singing at a distance, and when she follows the sound, she finds a grasshopper singing. She calls him a green bee. The grasshopper laughs and introduces himself as Flip, the grasshopper, and tells her that he lives in a meadow. She asks him what the meadow is. Flip covers her eyes and takes her ahead, then moves the leaves aside and uncovers her eyes, uttering that this is a meadow. Maya wonders to see the bunches of different flowers and plants. She is enchanted with the meadow. Flip mentions that the other insects live there too. He points his finger in a direction and reveals that a bug-eating monster, Gorgo, lives there. After seeing fear in her eyes, he diverts her attention and asks her where her friends are, as the bees don't travel alone. Maya dejectedly utters that she doesn't have any friends, as nobody likes her in the hive. She adds that she might be bad at being a bee. Flip insists she is positive and never lets anyone make her think otherwise. A frog appears near them, and before he could consume them, Flip holds her and hops toward the hive to escort her. Maya insists on staying in the meadow. Meanwhile, in the meadow, the bees are collecting the pollen in their buckets when hornets enter the meadow. Some little bugs hide behind the stems. When the hornets reach the bees, they hide their buckets, but one of the buckets falls. The chief of the hornets, named Hank, comes forward and laughingly attests before the commander that hornets don't steal, so they can continue collecting their fluffy balls. Then they fly ahead, screaming that they are just visiting the neighbors. 
After their departure, one of the bees reveals that he lost his bucket. The commander accuses the hornets of theft, and then they fly back to their hive. In the meantime, Flip arrives outside the hive, and when he puts Maya inside the window, she keeps on insisting to go with him. A bee arrives and draws the leaf on the window, declaring that bees don't talk to other bugs. Flip goes back into the meadow, assuring her that he will see her some other time. She mutters that bees can't do anything on their own. When she walks ahead, she falls into a big flower-like pot, leading her to a pipe, which opens into a place where the bees are making jelly for the queen. Maya is stuck near the end of the pipe. The queen, Buzzlina, and Crawley are also standing there. Buzzlina orders Crawley to unclog the pipe. When Crawley pats the pipe, Maya pops out and falls on Buzzlina. Buzzlina loses her balance and falls back, hitting the bottle of jelly. The bottle flies in the air, but Buzzlina catches it before it can hit the ground. She screams at Maya that the queen can only survive on the jelly, which is made after years of hard work. Maya apologizes to the queen. The queen asks her if she is alright. Then she professes that she is quite wild and she has to keep an eye on her. Maya softly inquires which eye she will keep on her. The queen laughs while Buzzlina approaches Maya and orders her to behave herself. The queen scolds Buzzlina, asking that she told her to take the bee back to the nurses. Buzzlina bows before her and takes Maya to the nursery. In the nursery, Cassandra is teaching the little bees, she draws a leaf with a picture of a hornet. When she describes it as a hornet, Willie, who is asleep, runs around screaming for help. Then he hits the wall with the leaf and realizes that it is just a picture. Suddenly, they hear the singing voice. Buzzlina enters with Maya. Cassandra calls her name, Maya, asserting that she is expecting her. Maya chuckles and repeats her name, Maya. Then she screams that she likes her name and spins while singing that she is, Maya the bee. Buzzlina scolds her that bees don't sing, as singing leads to playing, which is followed by laziness, and Gorgo loves the lazy bees. The little bees look at Buzzlina with fear. Cassandra insists Maya join her fellows. Maya sits next to Willie, which makes him wonder, as no bees like to sit with him. Then he introduces himself and insists Maya stay with him, as he knows so many things and they can be first flight buddies. Maya turns to Cassandra to learn about her first flight. Cassandra persists in being patient, as she must learn about the dangers first. Buzzlina adds that there are scaly, stingy hornets in the meadows who love to dip the baby bees in the pollen for their supper. Meanwhile, Hank informs the baby hornets that the bees are soul suckers. When his son named Sting insists on taking him on the flight because he wants to see this hateful bug, Hank orders him to stay in the camp. Then he flies off with his soldiers. Sting asks his fellows if they will join his secret bug hunters club. The baby hornets hide behind the stones. Sting leaves the camp, muttering. In the hive, Buzzlina warns the little bees that bugs eat bees, which is why they don't trust the bugs. Maya intervenes and suggests that if they befriend bugs, they can ask them for help against the dangers. Buzzlina declares that she would rather meet her eternity than call other bugs for help. Maya expresses that she met a bug that didn't eat her, and they haven't seen Gorgo or the hornets yet, so they just can't believe a crinkly-faced old bee. Buzzlina is infuriated over her insult. She bans Maya's flights and leaves the nursery. Next, when the little bees go into the meadows with Cassandra, Willie stays back for Maya. She expresses that she is a misfit in the hive. Willie believes that if she follows the orders and stops asking questions like the rest of the bees, she will no longer be a crazy little bee. Maya jubilantly runs out to inform Buzzlina that she will follow all future orders. Meanwhile, Buzzlina and Crawley are conspiring against the queen by hiding the royal jelly. When Maya approaches Buzzlina, she sees queen's jelly in that room. Buzzlina draws the curtain to hide it. Maya investigates the jelly. Instead of answering, Buzzlina kicks her out of the hive, stating that there is no place for the wretched bees. Maya pleads to stop Buzzlina from banishing her but to no avail. Now little Maya is on her own. She steps into the meadow, afraid. When she falls into the hive, she starts flapping her wings. Willie sees her flying away. He shouts to stop her, but Maya flies ahead, and her fear changes into giggling. Willie jumps out of the window to accompany his friend. Meanwhile, Crawley shows his worry that the little bees can't survive in the meadows. Buzzlina laughs and then dictates him to go behind her to make sure that nature does its work. In the meantime, Maya is flying deep down in the meadow, inhaling deeply the smell of flowers. She sees some shining plants, and when she goes near them, the silvery plants try to smack her, but she dodges them. Later, she finds another bug with claws. She screams and flies ahead, breathing heavily. Next, the frogs try to swallow her, but she dodges them too. Crawley arrives by that time, and when a frog is about to eat Maya, Crawley covers his eyes. Maya dodges that frog too. But Crawley thinks that the frog has swallowed Maya, so he returns to report Buzzlina. 
Maya hides in a flower, breathing heavily. When she hears Willie's voice. Willie, after dodging the shiny plant, bugs, and frogs, reached under that flower. Maya pulls him up, and then Willie asks her the reason for coming out. Maya somberly announces that Buzz Lena thinks that she doesn't belong to the hive, so she leaves it for good. She adds that she doesn't find any purpose in the meadow either. Willie decides to stick with her. Maya avows that she needs to find Flip so he can tell her the purpose of her life. Willie fearfully suggests she stay inside till morning, as there is danger outside. The next morning, Willie inquires about Flip's location. Maya is perplexed and maintains that he might be somewhere in the meadows. Then they go on their search. On the other side, Hank takes his army and goes out in search of Sting. Meanwhile, Maya and Willie are just flying ahead. On the way, Willie finds a crawling leaf, Maya slips under it and finds Sting. Maya questions him about Flip. He denies any knowledge and declares that he is on the hunt for soul suckers. Maya flips the leaf, inquiring about the soul suckers. Sting persuades them to join his bug hunters club, and then he will tell more about the soul suckers. Maya exclaims that she is in, but Willie warns her not to join a stranger's club. Willie asks him what kind of bug he is. When he is about to reveal his identity as a hornet, the hornet's army passes over them. Sting runs away, Willie hides under a leaf, and he pulls Maya too, asserting that the hornets will eat her outside. In the hive, the queen is ailing due to the unavailability of the royal jelly. Buzzlina accuses the hornets of stealing, and despite the queen's disapproval, she announces that she will wage war against the hornets and get back the jelly. Cassandra arrives and informs them that she needs help finding two missing bees. But Buzzlina refuses to help, as she is on a mission to save the hive. Later, Cassandra approaches an ant colonel named Paul and requests help to find Maya and Willie. Paul orders his soldier ants to find little bees with boogly eyes and bobbly heads. After sending his three pairs in particular directions, he turns to the last pair, Arnie and Barney, they are the clumsy ones and always fail in their mission. Paul commands them to go anywhere and find the bees. Meanwhile, Maya and Willie jump into a tree trunk, where a big beetle is teaching the little bugs. The kids say hello in chorus. When Maya asks him about Flip, the beetle expresses that Flip must be at a party. He suggests she wait for the darkness, then she should follow the only light in the meadow, to find the party location. She states that they need to find some other direction, then they come out of the trunk. Next, they find a dumb rolling beetle named Kurt. Willie tries to stop her from approaching, as a blow of stink might take her life. Willie sits on a leaf while Maya approaches him, reckoning that it must not be a bad odor. But she falls after sniffing the stink, and then she reaches Kurt and inquires about the party. Kurt is awestruck as nobody talks to him. He reveals that, though he is never invited to the parties, he knows that they commence in Jittenberg Hollow. He tells her to hold the dung roll so he can point in that direction. When Maya holds it, it rolls on her, making her stinky. The beetle screams not to cross the spider valley and runs to grab his roll. Willie, holding his nose, avers that she is stinking. Maya giggles and asks him if he needs a hug. Willie flies away screaming, while Maya follows him laughing. In the spider valley, Maya and Willie are heading further, and Willie proclaims that there is no danger in the valley and that the dung beetle must be dumb. Sting, who is hiding behind a stick, joins them. Maya is happy to see him again and flies further with him, while Willie follows them at a distance. He tries to think of what kind of bug Sting is. He looks at his spiky tail, feet, and antennas and screams that he is a hornet, whose picture was in the beehive. Maya argues that he has no red eyes and is small too. Sting, after knowing about the beehive, concludes that they are bees. He steps back and pleads before them not to suck his soul. Suddenly, a spider comes from behind and entraps Sting by tying the web around him. He screams for help. Maya holds Willie, indicating that four wings are faster than two, then they flap and rush to the spider web and cross it, carrying Sting with the web thread. After reaching a bit far, they land. Sting cries that his father will not like it if he knows that the bees saved him. Willie suggests Maya leave Sting there, as they need to reach Jittenberg Hollow. Sting shouts to untie him so he can take them to that place, as it is near his camp. Maya tries to reach him, but Willie stops her. Maya tempts him by saying that there will be pollen and buttercups at the party. Willie runs to untie Sting and then flies ahead to reach the party quickly. Maya inquires Sting that his father must be worried for him. Sting imparts that his father is the toughest guy. Then they fly behind Willie. Meanwhile, Hank is crying for his son. When his soldiers reach him, he pretends that there's dust in his eyes. Suddenly, the bee sergeant arrives with some soldiers and warns Hank to leave the meadow before the next morning, otherwise, there will be consequences. Hank ridicules them by calling them stripy puffballs and laughing that hornets are not afraid of the bees. Meanwhile, Arnie and Barney discover flying pollen. They start following it, 
which leads them to the hornet's camp. After finding it to be a hornet's camp, Arnie, who is about to grab it, leaves the pollen. Barney, who is composing his breath by holding the stem of a hornet's hut, takes his hand off. The hut falls on another hut, which falls on another one, and as a result, it destroys the whole camp. They both ran away before anyone could notice them, leaving the pollen behind. Maya, Willie, and Sting arrive at Jittenberg Hollow. Maya approaches Flip and asks him where she belongs, as nobody likes her in the hive. She begs him to teach her how to live in the meadow. Flip commands her to go under the magic flower, as he is going to transform her. After his enchanting Maya steps out, but she finds no transformation. Flip calmly asserts that she can't be anything else than uniquely Maya. He persuades her to be herself, and she will fit anywhere with her unique abilities. By that time, Sting arrives and takes his son with him, furiously asking if the bees did any harm to him. Sting informs him that the bees saved his life. Rather than thanking Maya, he orders her to stay away from his son. Then he takes his son with him. In the hive, Crawley gathers the bees and announces that the queen has departed and that to run the hive, they need a new queen. He then announces Buzzlina's name as the new queen. Buzzlina steps down wearing the crown, and everyone is shocked to see her. Buzzlina, with crocodile tears, claims that she chose to wear the crown for their beloved departed queen. Then she persuades the bees to take revenge against the hornets for stealing the jelly. She commands them to attack the hornets at dawn. In the evening, Willie leaves for the hive after he argues with Maya, who refuses to return. Later, Flip and Maya go in search of Willie. On the way, they meet Arnie and Barney, who informs them that the queen is ailing as the hornets stole the jelly, and now the bees are waging war against the hornets. Maya reveals that hornets did not steal the jelly, rather, Buzzlina is the real crook. They thank Arnie and Barney and go further to find Willie. When they find him nowhere, Maya tries to tempt Willie by announcing loudly that she has pollen. Willie appears over the grass, but the gusts of wind take him up in the sky, where the bats are hovering. Maya sees him going into the mouth of the bat, and she asks Flip to kick her in the sky. She saves Willie when a bat flies towards them to eat them. Flip jumps up and takes them down safely. Later, they realize that they landed on Gorgo's hedge. When Maya tries to fly through Gorgo to reach the hive, she strikes the head of Gorgo. Willie and Flip jump up to stop Gorgo from eating Maya but find her laughing. She imparts that Gorgo is not a monster. Flip looks at its straw-filled head and agrees with Maya that Gorgo is made of grass and can't eat them. They go towards the hive, leaving an old, creaking Gorgo behind that might fall at any time. In the hornet's camp, when the hornets return, they find their camp shattered, then blame the bees for the disaster after finding pollen there. Hank gathers his army and calls the other five tribes of hornets to attack the bees. Sting sneaks out of the camp to inform Maya. Meanwhile, Maya and Willie enter the hive, while Flip has been denied entrance. To help Maya enter the queen's chamber, Willie diverts the guard's attention. When Maya approaches the queen wearing the crown, she is appalled to see Buzzlina, who informs her about the demise of the queen. When Maya accuses her of stealing jelly, she calls the guards to put her in a cell. Maya tells the guards that she knows where she hid the jelly, and Buzzlina signals Crawley to take out the jelly. Crawley slinks out, then takes the jelly. When Maya pulls the curtain where Buzzlina kept the jelly, they find nothing. Buzzlina orders the guards to arrest her. While in the cell, she peeps through a door hole. Crawley hands the jelly to Buzzlina, who keeps it under her crown in a hurry as she is going to ambush the hornets. Willie tries to open the door of the cell. But when Crawley notices him, Willie runs away and goes out with the soldiers while dodging Crawley. Maya sees him through the window and then sits down, dejected. In the meadow, Sting finds Willie and imparts that the hornets are waging war against the bees. They approach Flip, and they all sneak into the hive and tell Cassandra everything. In the cell, Maya finds the ailing queen lying, she approaches her and apologizes for going out because if she stayed in the hive, she might stop Buzzlina. The queen softly asserts that she chose to follow her heart to explore the world, and it takes courage. She advises Maya to stay the same. Suddenly, Miss Cassandra enters along with Flip, Willie, and Sting. They are in wonder to see the queen alive, and Cassandra informs the queen that Buzzlina wages war against the hornets. The queen directs them to take her to them, as she is the only one who can stop them. Maya plans to get the royal jelly with Willie, Sting, and some other meadow friends. When they all reach the bees, it is already late, as the hornets have arrived in front of them too. They are all ready for the fight. Sting asserts that only a miracle can stop the war. Maya slowly declares that a gorgo can stop the fight, and then she commands other bugs to follow her. While the bees and hornets are fighting each other, Buzzlina and Hank fall between the two armies. Suddenly they hear Gorgo's voice, asking who disturbed his deep sleep. The bees and hornets fearfully point at each other. 
Buzzlina notices the rope tied to the seemingly Gorgo-like object. Gorgo is a cloth under which Maya and her friends are hiding. Maya, in a heavy, monstrous voice, suggests the bees and hornets be friends. Buzzlina sees Maya under the cloth, she pulls the rope and the cloth falls. Arnie and Barney fall too. Hank approaches his son and accuses the bees of being his kidnappers. Maya says that bees and hornets can be friends, while Willie and Sting shake hands. Hank investigates the pollen in his camp. Arnie and Barney explain that it was their mistake, but the flimsy huts of his camp just fell on their own. Buzzlina accuses Maya of being a traitor. Maya argues that the hornets did not steal the jelly, rather, Buzzlina did it, and it is under her crown. Buzzlina, who is holding the rope that is tied to Gorgo, pulls it in frustration. Gorgo falls on Buzzlina, Hank, and some bugs. Maya directs all the bugs, including bees and hornets, to pull the pieces of Gorgo. All the bugs join, and they save Buzzlina and Hank by pulling the Gorgo together. The crown falls from her head, and Buzzlina orders Crawley to grab Maya, but he refuses to obey her orders. She furiously commands him to bow down, first, he refuses, but then he bows down. After that, she sees all the bees bowing down. She vainly orders Maya to bow, which she follows. Buzzlina is bewitched to see a rebel bee bowing down. She turns back after hearing Flip's voice, who, along with Cassandra and four guard bees, brings the queen there. Buzzlina screams in vexation after seeing the queen. Cassandra directs Maya to get the jelly. Buzzlina turns to Maya, but by that time Willie has taken the jelly to Cassandra, who helps the queen drink it. After drinking the jelly, the queen rises, flapping her wings. Buzzlina stammers that she did it for the hive. Crawley puts the crown on the head of the queen, and they all bow down. The queen avows that they have had no altercation with the hornets or any other insects. Then she spreads her hand in front of Hank to offer friendship. Sting insists on his father, who hesitatingly clasps the hand of friendship. The queen then announces a royal celebration in her hive for the unity of the insects. Kurt turns to go away, lowering his head. Maya whispers in the queen's ear. The queen states that all the bugs are invited, including the dung beetle. Kurt jubilantly shouts that he will bring the biggest ball to the party. Everyone pulls faces, reckoning about the dung ball. On the celebration day, the queen declares Willie and Sting hive heroes for their bravery. When she calls Maya, she flies over to the queen and hugs her. The queen affirms that Maya has taught them a lesson, that the meadow belongs to all the bugs and that every bug has a role to play. Maya excitedly inquires about her role. The queen announces that Maya will be the hive ambassador, she will discover the new thing in the meadow and report back to them. Maya chuckles that she fits in the hive. The queen commands Flip to start the music, and they all start dancing to the beats, whereas Buzzlina is serving everyone the honey cakes. After some time, Kurt brings them a big pollen ball. Later, the bee sergeant arrives and reports about the new bugs in the meadow. Flip suggests that they should send someone to greet the bugs. They all look toward Maya. Maya flies out to welcome the newcomers.